Hey y'all, how are you today? Welcome back, sorry for the glare in the background. So the quick announcement is that the video coming on the 6th, we're actually talking about uh, Universal Orlando, Iowa. I'm in the Adventure Overview, which is really cool. I'm super excited for that. Um, Yeah. And that this video coming on the 5th, which I'm filming right now, is actually a Let's Talk Horror. Which is cool. One of my goals in the last talk board this year is to cover some early iconic classic movies. I'm covering one today. And talking about Phantom Opera. And here we go. So, Phantom Opera has multiple adaptations. Which can be tough to choose from. So, one of my goals. I want to choose an early American one. Yeah. So, here we go. Uh, Phantom Opera was released. This one was released in 1925. Like, it's like, there's multiple versions. Which I might cover in the future. I don't really know. And so, it's, this one is an adaptation, a silent horror movie adaptation of Le Phantom de l'Opera, which is like Phantom and Opera. It was, uh, the book was created by Gaston de Rooks. I'm probably, probably pronouncing it wrong, I'm so sorry for any French speakers. It was directed by, um, Hubert Julian, as, uh, the film was, and stars one really famous actor in Lon Chani Jr., which is uh, Phantom of Lons, the Harris Opera House. I'm just going to go over a quick background over, like, who Rupert Julian is, because I, personally, I have never heard of him before this. Uh, he also directed, besides this, he also directed the Cat, Cat Creeps. Um, he directed Phantom Cat in a Cannery, which is considered a lost film. Which is interesting. I've never heard of him before. But you never know. You never know who can pop up in these films. Um. Yeah. Uh, so the next part. Let's just talk about Lon Chaney. Because he is an interesting character. I've mentioned him before. Um. He's known as the man of 1,000 faces. He is his son, Lon Chaney Jr. Which is cool. Uh, he was young when he passed away at 47. So this is five years before he would have passed away, which is crazy. Um, he was also in the silent horror movie's Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is a really interesting film. Um, yeah. Interesting. He used parents for... Um, about, I didn't really know, his parents were both deaf, so he had to uh, learn the skills of mimetry, like, uh, pantomime, pantomime, which is, like, mimetry, like, mime artist, which is cool. Yeah, um, let's talk about some of the producers, because some of them are really interesting people, and, yeah, so, there's three uncredited directors, which is Lon Chaney, you have Ernst Laramie. Um, Leon, sorry. Um, he was a nephew of Carl Lam Lamy, and, uh, Carl's name might be more, I've mentioned before, he was a producer on a couple things. Um, I don't know what movie it was, but... but yeah, he was a producer. He was also the founder of Universal Pixar Studios, Universal Studios, which is really interesting. I forget what film, but we definitely covered him before. Yeah, um, he was part of Dracula and Frankenstein, that's why, with his son Carl Jr. Uh, we also have another guy in Edward Sedgwick. I've never heard of him personally. I don't really know a lot about early horror. But, um, yeah, he's from Texas. He was a film director. He's worked on, I'm trying to think if I recognize any of his films. Uh, Phantom Opera, probably, would be the only one I will probably recognize from this list. 
Yeah. Oh, I love Lucy. He also. Probably. I <laughs> probably heard him. Um, one of a producer. And this was Elliot Walter Anthony. I've never heard of Walter Anthony. Um, we also have Elliot Clausen. He wrote The Cop, Skyscraper. It's a couple of work I've never really heard of. And we have Bernard McConville. Um, also, I don't know of any of his works. The crazy thing, this actually came out before Dracula, which is really surprising. Um, yeah. So much actors. Oh, so now I'm talking about some of the main actors. We, like I mentioned, Lon Chaney, you'll have Mary Philbin. Um, she was in The Man Who Laughs, which is cool. You also have Norman Carey. Um, Clark Gable, 1920s, which is cool. Uh, yeah, I don't really know who he is either. Um, you have Arthur Carey. I don't know who he is, which is horrible. Um, you have Bernard Siegel, Edward Martinez, um, yeah, That's really, I don't really know anybody, but yeah, I hope you all enjoy, and like I said, a video coming on the 6th. Talking about IOA overview. I hope you all enjoy. Bye bye.